All right, guys, it's been years in the making. Two of the baddest fighters out of the UK. Paul Semtex Daily versus Michael Venom Page. It's actually going down. Bellator 216. Whew. Now, remember, it's part of that Grand Prix that's been ongoing where the winner also gets a million dollars. And if you happen to run into John Fitch along the way, you're fighting for the title. So, lots, lots at stake here for both guys, aside from just UK pride. Uh, Dan Tom, who do you like in this one? Um, let me give you some odds if you want to throw the, the betting angle out as well as the breakdown for the common man. Page is the favorite at about minus 240, and Semtex Daily comes back at about plus 170, 175, 180, depending. Shop around. Those odds are going to raise eyebrows for good reason because Daily, let's be honest, is a more proven fighter. I mean, heck, I was just on here last week, guys. We did a Daily debate. Is Daily going to be the one? A little play on words there. Mm -hmm. But I actually leaned toward yes. Of, of course, I reserve the right to change my decision and have to go through the analysis first. And I'm glad I said that, guys, because when I combed through the analysis, I came, I came, I came out of it the other way. Um, more along the lines of the odds. Now, I do think the odds should be tighter, no matter who you favor. I think it's really tough. This is this is the true litmus test of strikers, but it's dangerous. This is one of those matchup guys. I think we can take Daly's experience. I think we can take all our on paper statistics and factoids, and we can throw them out the window. I think this one's a, 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 the proverbial styles match, but in an extreme way because you can go through guys' sample size, and you can't compare really anybody to Michael Venom Page. I mean, closest in MMA, maybe a even Wonderboy Thompson, closest in boxing, maybe, you know, uh, uh, Prince Nassim. You know, it, it, it's really, you, 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 you're, you're splitting hairs there, guys. You, you really, you're, you, he is his own, MVP is his own fighter, and he's a self- a self-proclaimed snake charmer guys you know we see him dancing we see him dancing in there and he's not mocking his opponents you know if you watch it closer there, there's a method to this guy's madness in there for example the shoulder fakes that he used where he's shucking and driving he's really just destroying any reads his, his, his opponent is potentially trying to make you know you talk to many strikers they'll tell you they keep a general focus between the shoulders it's going to tell you if straight shots are coming hooks or if you dip too much maybe the kicks are coming whereas michael venom page you don't know what's coming he is just rhythmic dancing and he's disrupting your your rhythm, sending straight shots down the pipe. Daly's really durable. He's only been stopped once by Nick Diaz, but you look at the common thread for Daly guys. They're generally long, um, athletic uh, strikers who, who are about commensurate, at least with his level, and they can counter. And we've seen, you know, Paul Daly, whether it was against Misaki in Strike Force or even in the in the Nick Diaz fight, Daly will shoot for takedowns if you're standing and striking for with him, as, as good as his prowess is. So I think we see that here. I'm not sure if he's going to get those takedowns though. So I'm going to go with MVP by a second round stoppage, which sounds crazy when you look at Daly's body of work. All right, how about you guys? <laughs> I'm going to go with Semtex. I uh -huh. like him in this fight, you guys. I've gone back and forth on it as well. I understand all the points, and I agree with them. That's how close this fight is for me. The one intangible I'm going to throw in, I'll throw in a couple, is just the experience of being in a big fight, big stage. Michael Venom Page has had little bits of tastes of it, but I don't know that he knows what it's like to have a guy like Paul Semtex daily that just doesn't stop coming forward. He throws with just ferocity. Um... I'm curious to see if he's going to play that game, Dan, of, of with his arms and putting him down because Paul can throw pretty fast, even at his age. Yeah. And if he lands one of those, it's good night, Irene. So if you throw in one other intangible, and that's the mental state of MVP right now, he's had some tough times, some personal problems. Some of those people bounce back from that and, and really shine, and others get taken back by it. So it's the big stage. And and uh, Paul Daly's been there, and that's what I'm gonna base my pick off of. Mm -hmm. Well, you guys have covered a lot of the X's and O's, so I'll just add one other component to it. I think the mental game is gonna be really important. I think Venom Page, it's personal for him because of the UK pride and because this has been you know stewing for a couple years. But I think he also knows when to pull away and just treat it like a competition. Where I think I think with Daly is a little bit more of the um, street guy, you know, where you're, you're, you're basically poking and prodding to a guy who, you know, would let you know if we, if we got a problem, we're dancing in the streets. Yeah, yeah. And he's brought that with him, you know, and it may have cost him his UFC career at one point. But, you know, make no mistake, look, the guy's amazing. When he throws his left hook, he he's, uh, turns people's lights out. He's got a lot of KOs, too, on his record. Uh, and I think he's got – I think both guys have speed. I'm not going to give either one the advantage. But I do like – Daly's uh, power shots have a lot of speed, whereas Venom Page, I think a lot of his perimeter type of strikes just, you know, they come from so many different angles. If you're not seeing it coming, it can be very, very lethal. So that said, again, I think 
I, I think this fight is, is going to be very tactical, but I think Paige is going to get Daly to play his game, and I think he may pay the price for it. If it doesn't, maybe you got yourself a decision because there'll be some moments of respect between both yes, guys. Yes, for sure. And I hope they hug it out at the end. But at the same time, he could walk into something, and uh, that's why I'm leaning more towards Paige. I just think he's got to be more past the victory. And just a quick add-on. I'm glad you guys brought up. You're right. The frustration, that's going to be the key. Does Daly get frustrated? He seems to be uh, a veteran, like, trying to go into this. He knows what he has to do, but can he do it? Whereas, like Go said, you know, losing a parent plays a special role in combat sports. Jake Shield lost his father, ended up receiving one of his most brutal losses, whereas uh, Buster Douglas, you know, had one of his best performances despite going into camp after losing his mother. So we'll see where, where, where MVP ends up on that spectrum. All right, and there you have it. That's our break down for Bellator 216. Keep it locked on MMA Junkie. We got you covered for that one. And the one taking place the night before, Bellator 215. Uncle Matt E, he's out there. He's got you. We got you. MMAJunkie.com. No other place to go.